Welcome back to Makeup with Gigi. It's my favorite party people. So today, I'm gonna ramble on like an ADD idiot and talk about all kinds of stuff because topic to topic, it's just a rough day for me. And I'm gonna do this. This is pretty fun. Um, we use this, that'd be Stricker Magic. We're gonna use Blood Money and we're gonna use this guy because I love him and I think that's it and this will be one of the few videos that I actually edit and post like immediately because there is some information that is time oriented in there in case you want to get in on it and I guess you'll have to watch to find out what that is so go grab a snack Leave me a comment, like, subscribe below. I'm gonna put these things away. I'll wait for you. Go ahead. I'm still putting stuff away. Take your time. We're just having a moment here. All right. Are you liking, subscribing? Uh, there's that little bell if you hit it that's gonna turn on your notifications So when you open it on your phone and you check your little subscription at the bottom It's gonna have a little red dot to tell you you have new videos to watch Because I know you can't wait for new content from me. That's probably not true but in my mind it is and That's enough for me um, We're almost to 50 subscribers Okay Everybody had a chance to like, subscribe, leave a comment. We're good? All right. Hold tight. All right, party people. We're going to start with our Blood Money palette, if I can open it. And I have got right here my number four BH Cosmetics brush. And I think today we're going to start with Crocodile Tears right here. And we're just going to... Kind of outer V, maybe a little further towards the middle. Not too much, though. I feel like maybe the power of suggestion with the green here will encourage and manifest green things to me. Namely money. It's another work day. Oh, it was a crazy week. It was a crazy week. It was a crazy week. Next week will also be kind of a crazy week for me. We, uh, I don't really know why I'm working so many shifts, but I am. Um, and it is what it is. That's cool. Cause I found out, I watched this morning, Jeffrey's got a new collection coming out on, uh, the 15th. And when he does, I guess I'm gonna have to put this video up like ASAP. Um, when he does, there's new mystery boxes. And as always, the mystery boxes are kind of pricey. This time, the big one, it's got, I think he said 15 or 16 items in it, including his new weirdo palette, which I don't need, but I do. Um, but it's also got, you know, a ton of other stuff in it, but it's going to be 200 this time. It was 180 the last time. But I still think I'm going to try to convince boyfriend it's necessary. Because I really like the mystery boxes. I have a lot of fun. I love, I hate surprises. Um, because in my life, surprises and even gifts have always, not always been something I preferred and of course my parents you know always taught me to be gracious and grateful for what I get but now that I'm older I feel like I can I should be able to tell people exactly what I want um and one of those things is Jeffree Star hate it if you want we're gonna use chameleon fetish because it's my favorite Oh yeah. I love this combination. I've done this several times. I'm sure of Crocodile Tears and Chameleon Fetish. And I usually throw Poison Ivy in here too, which, yeah, that's probably gonna be the case. Somewhere. 
maybe not where you think. But anyway, I'm super excited. The Weirdo palette, it's grays and blacks mostly. It's supposed to be like what Jeffrey wore in high school and in the MySpace days, which I love. I was not into Jeffrey on MySpace. I was, I had a MySpace, but I was never like super social media active. I put up pictures. I had my top eight, but I was also pretty much an adult by the time. I was an adult and married by the time I knew what MySpace was and had one. And that may have been when it came out. I don't know. I got married in 2003. And so I didn't know who Jeffrey was then. And I'm kind of sad I missed that because I really, it's not usually my kind of music what his is. If you aren't familiar with his music, it's worth taking a listen. It's definitely more dancey. Um, it gives me kind of a techno-y vibe, but not something you would hear like a DJ mix in with other stuff, I guess. I don't know, but I really enjoy it. And it's funny cause I have, you know, several friends who have their own feelings about Jeffrey and I have played the music for them a couple times without them knowing who it was. And they were all like, Oh, this is good. I like this. Not like super into it, but you know, I like this. So it can't be terrible. It's not just me that likes it. <laughs> um, but I really, I didn't know who Jeffrey was until about a year ago. And it's funny because I think I worked at Hot Topic during the time that his merch would have been out. And I don't ever remember seeing it, but maybe that was just my location because I was in Texas at the time. And, you know, Texas, they're very conservative and have their own feels about big personalities that are different. Let's darken the corner just a little bit. I'm going to get out my number four just for better placement. And I think to darken, I think I want to really darken it. I haven't used this in a long time. Let's use black card limit. And these green sparkles, they may or may not still show up. I'm not really concerned either way, you know? I just want to, this is just for our outer V and we're going to blend it much better in just a second. I just want to get it placed. Then we're going to switch back to the number four because I like their blending better. And we're just going to make sure it's in there seamlessly. It's just a shadow. Which, I don't see my shadow today. Shadow is my kitty. I don't like the way that came out, but I do like it blended just a little more like that. Perfect. I think that's gonna work. Um, let's try an M three thirty. And just a light touch. I just want to soften that line. That left a really like kind of sharp but not even line of dark color and I want it to blend. Blend baby blend. If you're playing the home game right now I'm very sorry. You didn't know what this was. I'm just dipping back into Crocodile Tears now that I've switched back to my number four. And again, that's just to get the black to blend better 
with what's under it. You know, black, it can be kind of stubborn sometimes. Doesn't always want to do what you need it to. Okay. I think that's going to work nice. And for our lid, All right, this is Emerald Estate, which is this one. And it's a real soft formula that I did not realize it was a real soft formula at first and smooshed it. So I have a really hard time with it, purely due to my own error. Let's see if we can do this. Maybe the setting spray trick will work. You just you spray your brush with setting spray. And then you try to pick it up on the brush, and I'm going to give it a little wiggle jiggle to try to break it up a little bit. Maybe pick it up more like a loose powder. It is giving me quite a bit of fallout doing it this way. I don't have this problem when I use my finger for stuff like this. But I'm definitely getting a better color payoff with the brush and the setting spray. So let's do a little a base here, a little base layer. And then we're going to spray our brush again. Ooh, that probably went all in my coffee cup. Try to pick it up some more. The other thing I really enjoyed about the last mystery box I got is I got some doubles of things that I was able to give to my best friend and let her try. She probably wouldn't have bought any Jeffree Star on her own. She's just not that into it, and she spends her money otherwise and doesn't feel the need to spend that much on palettes. I get it. Love her. Love her for it. However, I wanted her to try the quality, and I'm weird about sharing my makeup. Like, I share, I'll share stuff with her. Eyeshadows, yeah. Lips, I'll uh, probably share it all with her. Uh, eyeliners and mascaras, I never share. But... I really wanted her to have the chance to like try all the colors that she wanted to. So when I got a duplicate of this palette, which is my favorite, I was really excited to be able to give it to her and let her play with it. And she has really enjoyed it, I think. I've seen her wear it several times. Um, and so that's kind of my plan. And of course, anything that she doesn't want that I already have or don't need, don't want, could potentially be put away for a giveaway. I'm almost to 50 subscribers. And I think at 50 subscribers, maybe there's a gift in, in order for somebody. We'll do some kind of like, I don't know, contest where you have to like and subscribe and follow and comment. And I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch a Rich Lux video because he's always begging for subscribers, like begging. And it's kind of annoying, but it's kind of amusing. But anyway, all these contests, they have all these stipulations. You have to, like, tag your bestie. and I don't want to be all annoying like that because I hate those. That is actually the number one thing that will deter me from trying to do it. Let me, real quick, do a little cleanup and pop on my wing, and I'll be right back. Wingy, 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 wingy. I'm probably editing this out, but it's a cute song. All right, what y'all think? I bet y'all are sick of seeing me do green. I was looking back through videos the other day and realized I do a lot of green looks. I really, really just like myself in green eyeshadow though. I 
And like when I ask people or friends, you know, oh, what color eyeshadow should I wear? Most of the time they say green. So I guess it just looks all right on me. What colors have you seen me do on here that you might like to see more of? I have the Wheel of Palettes, and let's be honest, I'm kind of over, over it. I really think I want to get a real wheel. <laughs> Boyfriend's like all for this, too. And do it that way. That way we could actually, like, spin the wheel. I know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> anyway, while I'm a being a weirdo, let's put on our pretty fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I'm still using the Medium 9W, but it's definitely getting to that time of year where I should probably consider picking up a lighter shade. I've got some swatches on my hand I just want to get rid of real fast. Um, and speaking of being a weirdo, that is the name of the new Jeffrey collection, if I didn't already say that. No, not sponsored. Someday maybe I'll be cool enough to be on the PR list, but I feel like that day is like a really long way away, and that's cool. I did get invited to be on one PR list. However, after talking to some other people that I in groups with on Facebook that are also creators. Um, if y'all are watching, hey, sorry, I can't remember your handles at this very moment. I should have done some homework first. But if you all watch, you know, I don't ever know what I'm going to talk about. I just kind of wing it. Don't know if that's working for me or not. So please hold while we see how that works out. But anyway, um, it was a scam or very likely a scam. Uh, the big advice I was given is if they want you to pay anything, even if it's shipping, it's a scam. Um, because truthfully, if they're going to send you a product for you to try and they have sought you out, they're not going to worry about $10, 20 shipping. Um, they have sought you out and they want your opinion. So that was very exciting for a day or two while I figured it out and then pretty sad. Um, I was really excited that, you know, ooh, am I that big yet? I guess not. I'm big enough to be on the scam list, though, so that's kind of something, right? Me and all my, like, what is it, 40 subscribers now? 43? Somewhere around there? 45? We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. In reality, this channel has only been here since July. So July, August, September, it is now October at time of filming. That's four months. That's like 10 people a month. That's not bad. Um, I have not followed any of the advice given, really, in videos I have watched regarding how to figure out the algorithm. I really just, if it's going to be a thing, it's going to be a thing the way I'm doing it. Or it's not going to be a thing, because otherwise it's not going to work for me. But I'm hoping maybe me being very real, like human, and I post my fuck-ups, and I don't really worry too much about what anyone thinks. I mislabeled a video recently, my last BoxyCharm unboxing. I had it labeled as October just because I was honestly making that at, I don't know, 3 in the morning after work one night. And... Uh, one person pointed it out, and I was like, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry about that, and I changed the title. I didn't look at the thumbnail, which also had October on there when it was September. And so some rude person in the comments who I didn't even answer, I was like, whatever. It's still there. I didn't delete it because that's not my game, but I don't have to respond to it. I guess I am kind of responding to it now. Um, decided to call it clickbait. And I was kind of offended at first, but then I was like, you know what? There are going to be a lot of times doing this that people are going to have something less than friendly to offer to the conversation. And if I get mad and I, you know, start responding to all that and get into drama, yes, that may boost my numbers, but that's not bringing me people that genuinely are here to learn makeup or, you know, watch makeup, see what I'm doing. That brings people looking for me to fight with other people. I'm not a person to fight with other people. Um, I don't even like petty restaurant drama. Okay, I take it back. I like to watch drama, 
like from the outside, like I'm gonna be real. Y'all know how I feel about Jeffrey. But he is like my favorite reality TV show ever. Um, not a big fan of The Bachelor, The Voice, all that. Can do without them. But this makeup drama with Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and who else? James Charles and Tati Westbrook and Trisha Paytas and whoever else I'm missing out of that. There are several. It has just been the most entertaining thing. And, you know, some of it I feel like maybe for real. Some of it I'm really starting to think they got some good writers. Um... I'm just adding a little of the 12N here, the Fair Neutral. It's very bright for my skin right now. And I love that because it's gonna brighten up those areas there. I got these under eye bags. I can't make them go away, y'all. Apparently, you're supposed to like do that sleep thing regularly at like set type intervals that, you know, you do it all the time at the same time. And you get like this set number of hours of sleep. Somebody told me it was something ridiculous like eight. And that's not the world I live in. My world, we get, you know, four or five hours of sleep. Because after peopling all day at work, I am so mentally exhausted that I... I just have to have some time, y'all. Let's see. I want a little more foundation just to kind of blend that a little bit. Yeah. Just so it blends in the right shape. We're just, yeah. See how pretty we can make that. Now that we got our lights and shadows balanced. Um, so, yeah, I'm like a four or five... Sometimes 10 hour, hours of sleep, girl. Those 10 hours of sleep days are my favorites. I feel great. Unfortunately, I also, I don't know if it's the oldest child in me, if it's the Capricorn in me, if it's my Meyer Brig type, I don't know what it is. I, I just have to wake up and feel like I've done something. Even if it's something little, maybe it's my neurodivergency, I don't know. But like this morning, I got up and my child had done the dishes as per my request. And when I say child, he's 20 and lives here rent free. So he can do the dishes. Um, but had only in the dishwasher put one coffee cup. And part of me, because he is my child. Uh, wondered if this was not him acting out in such a way like, oh yeah, well I'm only going to wash one cup and watch them fight over it. Which is not the case. Number one, I get up way before a boyfriend does. And number two, we're not going to fight over a cup. And, you know, but just his way of being a little bit petty. I could totally see that because I can myself be Tom Petty that petty um or it could have just been him not really wanting to do it but wanting to do it so that i quit yelling at him that's probably the case all right let's dust with shorty get all this extra powder off because we don't need her cake face we don't know her okay and we're going to take a setting spray shower real fast. Please hold. Still looking a little dry, but you know what? That's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. All right. Let's go in with our under eye. We're going to get out blood money again and our M165, little angle guy here. And I'm going to put on him some crocodile tears and just make this little... We go in here, you know, our usual little connecty spot, just a little. Unless I go crazy on this side, because sometimes I do that on accident. Okay. 
make a match. <laughs> and in my brain, I immediately went to matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Anyway. And this is just a little bit of chameleon fetish. I am also going to blend out with this color, so I'm not real worried about getting too much down here. This is really just so it doesn't end up looking funny in the end. Funny way or not funny, haha. -ha. Oh, number four, there you are. And we really wanna make sure we clean him off well because the last color we used it was that black card limit. And I definitely don't wanna blend out under my eyes with that. Okay. And I always, when I do this, I'm making sure I test it on an area of my hand where my foundation has been so that I know it's clean because it's gonna to stick to my foundation before it would stick to my like bare skin. Okay, so it's just a little chameleon fetish. Give him a little tap off. And we're just gonna blend this just a tiny bit. Just like that, not a lot. Now we're going to take our M431, the pointy guy with the white bristles. I guess maybe all of them come that way. It's my Zodiac number five. It's the same style brush, but he has black bristles. I like the white bristle one. We're going to take Poison Ivy, which is one of my favorites in this palette. And we're going to do our inner corner with that today because she is like, hey, bitch. Little hey girl, hey going on here. All right, we love her. You know, I have a green video. I just finished it yesterday and set it to post. And you know what? I think I'm gonna delete it and use this one instead. Cause I like this look a lot better. Okay, oh, you know what? We didn't do anything to highlight our brow yet. So let's take our little flat guy and I'm gonna use Divine Intervention. It's the white. Y'all know I'm a big fan of a white as my brow highlight. I'm not a big fan of a bold color on my brow when I've got so many other bold colors going on here. I really see this as more of a way to soften it, end it, you know, make it a little more finished looking. I really probably could have just blended this up a little and not done this, but I like it. Yeah. The wing's a little sad. Oh, and so is he. That's okay. They're evenly sad, so I'm leaving them alone today. I've had not enough sleep and a lot of coffee. So trust me, that eyeliner, that was hard today. I have another video, I think yesterday's that I filmed, where I, uh, I actually talk the whole time I'm doing my eyeliner. I don't know who she was. I usually just leave it out because it's boring. And y'all think I swear a lot now. 
that would up the upward count by significant amounts. Okay, pleased with that. We're gonna take our fan brush and yeah, Hula Benefit Bronzer. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to leave it at that. And we can do a little bit warmer of a blush. No, we're doing cool tone greens. And it's got a silver vibe today. So we'll use our Night Bloom. That one. It's ColourPop. I really like their blushes. And actually, I guess I could be using a lot of the colors in Pink Religion as a blush. Huh, I hadn't thought of that. I love them so much as eyeshadows, I almost hate to use them for blush, but I could. 100% could. There's some actually pretty blush colors in there. All right, so for eyeliners, got my Kat Von D Lemmy, and then I've got my NYX liner stick, whatever this is, Epic Wear, and this is silver lining. So I'll be right back. Okay. There we go. Now we get Shorty, he's over here all like, uh, you forgot me, lady. I didn't forget you, we just had to pause. All right, and I'm feeling a little dry here. I'm gonna use my rose water one. I know it's almost gone. She really like almost gone. Duh, stripper magic. It's one of my favorites. Okay, and hello Tinkerbell. Let's get her all dressed up. Oh yeah. All right, I can't shorty, give it a quick once over. Mostly just where it meets my blush. For that kind of softer blend there. We are also gonna take a minute and get all the kitty hair off my face. I know a kitty who's gonna be in trouble. I know which one it is. It's the little one and she thinks because she's little and cute that I'm not gonna get mad at her. It's not the case, ma'am. Next, we're going to dust the Poison Ivy off of our M, what are you, 431, as best we can. It does stain it a little bit. We're gonna take a little stripper magic and just make it a little spicy. I love on TikTok how all the strippers, they call themselves spicy gymnasts so that TikTok doesn't like take them down. That's pretty funny. I really dig that. I myself at one point was a spicy gymnast. The good old days. Just briefly, just really long enough to be able to say I did it. I have two or three decent stories and a few traumatic experiences and then I was out. Was not the life for me. Put them some hard-working girls and respect them tip them well we're gonna blend this this is some kind of morphe brush 330 yeah just to kind of soften the transition with the highlighter and the eyeshadow still not really pleased with that corner enough and let's get out our glitter
I may be the only person to say this, but honestly, Jeffrey, I wish your Extreme Frost had a little more glitter. Am I using the wrong formula? I think that's glittery enough. Put him away. I'm going to put him in this one. And, you know, just to give it another tone, I'm going to pop a little Ice Dream on there, too. Again, if you're new here, this is a Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop. And my name is Gigi, and I am a highlighter queen. I love highlighter and all things sparkly. If you do not, this is probably not the place for you. Or you could just skip this step. Whatever you want to do. But I really like it, and I really like the contrast of having several different highlighters and different colors and tones. sparkle today let's do fun we're gonna take our lippy pencil and dial up Ooh, maybe not mm, yeah and then we're gonna use our Jeffree Star Glore Liquid Lip in Jeffrey What the Fuck. Again, I bought this color because I liked the color. Not because I thought I would wear it a lot. I wear this color all the friggin' time. In my head, for so many years, all I could hear was my mother being like, you can't wear that color. And then years of people telling me things like, because I have an olive skin tone, I need to wear warm tones. Warm tones are not my jam. Cool tones, all the way. All the way. Cool tones. Even my reds. I like cool tone reds. All right, so... That's going to be our look for the day. Pretty pleased with how it came out, considering I really didn't have a plan when I sat down. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my ADD ramblings. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and let me know what you thought. And I will see you next time.